वेलकम बैक एज द विच थ्री वाइल्ड हैंड फॉर्स ओरिजिनली रिलीज ऑन नाइनटीन मे टू थाउजेंड फिफ्टीन टेन ईयर्स अगो सी डी प्रोजेक्ट राइट इज सेलिब्रेटिंग इट्स टेंथ ईयर एनिवर्सरी दे हैव रिलीज एन एनिवर्सरी ट्रेलर फॉर द गेम प्रेजेंटिंग अ मेमरी रीडन लुक एट द गेम स्टोरी एंड थैंकिंग द गेम्स कम्युनिटी गैरल्स वॉइस एक्टर ड कॉकल ज्वाइन द एनिवर्सरी एपिसोड ऑफ रेड स्ट्रीम्स एंड टॉक्ट अबाउट हिज रोल एज द वाइल्ड वोल्ड अ कपल ऑफ कॉन्सर्ट्स विल बी हेल्थ सोन one in boston massachusetts and one in boston poland orchestral performance for the games music will be conducted and much more for the european leg of the concert tickets are already available for purchase further celebrations include a series of 10 artworks from long time witcher artists for the unverse it's an open world role playing game where the players take on the role of a monster hunter slayer for hire geralt as he travels the war torn northern kingdoms in search of his adopted daughter siri The game features a very entertaining story, beautiful music, gorgeous looking visuals and a very engaging gameplay. In this video I'll be testing the game on my Windows PC that has a Ryzen 5700X 3D processor and an RTX 2070 Super GPU. We'll be updating my Nucom 9 FSR frame generation guide for the game. The mod will replace TLSS frame generation with FSR frame generation. Work on any PC with an RTX GPU. The game is shipped with an older version of TLSS upscaler. It's version 3.1.1. So I'll use Nvidia app to override the upscaler to the latest version 310.2.1. Just need to set the model preset to K in order to activate the transformer model of TLSS 4. I'll be verifying these details using TLSS debug overlay. I'll show you how to enable this overlay. Copy the lines from this website. We'll be executing this registry code provided by Amos. create a new text file anyway on your pc name it anything you want i'll just name it as overlay change the extension from .txt to .reg hit enter yes select the file right click open with notepad paste the lines here click on file click on save close and run this registry file this will activate the overlay if you want to disable it replace the number 4 here with 0 like this click on file click on save close and run this registry file i'll just revert the change as i want to enable the overlay select the file right click open yes okay i'll be injecting nucom 9 mod into the game via optiscaler mod we'll be using the daria build of optiscaler version 0.7.7 preview 9 can be downloaded for free from optiscaler's github i'll give its link in the description scroll down until you find the asset section expand it click on the .7z link here We'll be using Build 0.130 Universal version of Nucom 9 mod. Can be downloaded for free from Nexus Mods website. Just need to have a free Nexus Mods account in order to download any stuff from here. Click on Manual Download under Universal. Then click on Slow Download. First, I'll install Optiscaler mod. Just open the mod's archive file. Copy the highlighted files, three of them. Right click, copy. We'll be running the Steam version of the game. Select the game in your Steam library. Right click, manage. Click on Browse Local Files. Open Bin folder. Open x64 underscore dx12 folder. Paste the mod files here. Need to change the name of Optiscaler dot dll file to either dxgi or winmm. I'll go with the latter. Open Optiscaler dot ina file. Just set DX12 upscaler to DLSS. Set FG type to Newcoms as we will be using Newcom 9 mod. Won't be using OptiScaler frame generation. Click on File, click on Save, Close. Now I'll install Newcom 9 mod. Open the mod's archive file. Open DLL underscore version folder. Copy this DLL file. DLSS G to FSR 3 AMD is better. Open the game's install directory. Need to paste the DLL file in the same directory where we install Optiscaler mod. Open bin folder. Open x64 underscore dx12 folder. Paste the DLL file here. Now you need to make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling setting is enabled on your PC. Right click anywhere on the desktop. Click on Display Settings. Click on Graphics. Click on Advanced Graphics Settings. Check this setting. Hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. If your monitor supports VRR, enable the setting as well. Now enable VSync from NVIDIA Control Panel. Click on Manage 3D Settings. Click on Program Settings. From this drop-down bar, select which A3. Scroll down to the end. Enable VSync from here. 
my monitor is G-Sync compatible, I'll enable the corresponding settings for it. Click on Setup G-Sync here. Enable the following settings. Enable G-Sync G-Sync compatible. Enable for full screen mode. And enable settings for the selected display model. I'll also enable G-Sync compatible indicator. This step is optional. Click on Display here. Check the setting G-Sync compatible indicator. Now I'll overwrite the in-game DLSS upscaler via NVIDIA app. Open the app. Go to graphics, click on the three dots here, click on refresh. It will show you all of the games installed on your PC. From the list, select Witcher 3. Scroll down until you find driver settings section. Now click on the pencil icon next to DLSS override model presets. Check this option, use different settings for each DLSS technology. Click on the drop down bar below super resolution and select latest. Apply. That's it. We are ready to run the game. Play games launcher click on play graphics settings i'm not using ray tracing my gpu struggles a lot with ray tracing on dlss upscale enable using its quality preset post processing effects disable all of them hair works disable everything set to ultra display settings display mode borderless window full hd resolution DLSS frame generation setting on, this means Nukem 9 spot is working. First, I'll disable it. Run the game without frame generation. Reflex on. We are in. There's Carol. I am standing right outside the city of Novigrad, one of the most demanding areas in this game. Check out the DLSS debug overlay in the bottom left corner. Render preset use this K. Version of the upscaler 310.2.1. Base resolution 720p upscale to full HD resolution. DLSS auto exposure setting is on. This setting helps in reducing ghosting around the objects in the environment. Also fixes the shimmering effect produced by shiny objects. Image quality is looking very sharp. Just observe Carol's armor. Textured pattern. It's not looking fuzzy at all. The mesh textures. Looking sharp. Entered Novigrad. Very high NPC count here. Keep an eye on the FPS counter. FPS is close to 90, that's really good to see. Okay, now I'll enable Nukem 9 spot. Display settings, frame generation on. This will also enable NVIDIA Reflex. Reflex is not compatible with the official FSR frame generation implementation, but it works with Nukem 9 spot. Resume the game and oh my god, look at that FPS count 150. Can observe the added amount of smoothness. This is amazing. Or is working very nicely. Games HUD elements are not flickering. But the DLSS debug OLED is flickering as expected. It's not a part of the game's interface. After verifying the upscaler's details, just disable the debug overlay. I am heading for the Novigrad market. It's nearby. Sprinting. Close to 140 FPS. Very impressive performance. Okay, I'll just enable ray tracing now. It's very heavy in this game. Ray tracing on. Ray trace global illumination set to performance. These effects are disabled. Resume the game. Yeah, FPS dropped down to around 80. I'll be honest, latency is still manageable. Especially if you're playing the game using a gamepad. All thanks to the mod. It's up to you how you want to play the game. Made it to the market. Okay, now I'll show you how to disable DLSS debug overlay. We'll also show you some combat. Lot of NPCs here. Open the registry file that we created earlier. Using notepad. Replace the number 4 here with 0. Click on file, click on save, close. Run this registry file. Open. Okay, that's it. I'll test the game in Crookback Bog now. We are in. This is the game running on ultra settings with ray tracing on. I'm looking for some drowners. They can pop out of thin air. See one in the background. Use the Igni. I haven't played the game in a very long time. Took them out. More incoming. FPS is around 80. What the hell is that thing? Invisible creature. I just disable frame generation. 
give you an idea about the base performance mod frame generation disabled resume the game and oh my god fps dropped to around 45 animation is looking so choppy so mod works very nicely in this game does a good job of improving the performance doesn't add much latency all thanks to nvidia reflex so that's it with the video guys i hope you find it useful thanks for watching and have a nice day